Hey, shout out to Don Grinjewski. Hey, what's happening, Don? Um, this will be a neat video, especially appropriate for Halloween. <laughs> um, first, let me show you a picture since I can't actually show this to you in the lens. But if you have one of these, it's a 200mm f4 Nikkor. Or, if you have a 35mm f1.4 Nikkor, either AI or uh, pre-AI, i.e. non-AI lens, or there are a few of you out there that have these, I know. It's the 200mm uh, um, AIS uh, Micro Nikkor. Uh, all of these lenses are radioactive! <laughs> I, I wish I still had my buddy's Geiger counter. Uh, I used to have a couple Geiger counters, but I sold them off ages ago because I really didn't have any use for them. Um, but yeah, this lens is radioactive. It's a 200mm f4. Um, you can actually see, that you might not be able to see this in the video, but you see that light, you know, yellowish, uh, brownish tint in the center of that lens. Here you can actually see them a lot better with the wet background. Uh, these are Canon lenses. See that yellowish, uh, brownish tint? That, kiddies, is called thorium oxide, and it is a beta and gamma emitter. Um, they're radioactive. They're used as, uh, uh, dielectric permittivity correctors. Well, what the hell does that mean? Uh, it means that, uh, now they're using lanthanum uh, oxide in lenses to dope the glass, uh, to correct for chromatic aberration. Um, but this was used, uh, by Nikon. It's just Nikon's dirty little secret. Yes, it's true. It's 100% true. This lens is radioactive. I'm sure you actually can't see the slight yellowish brownish tint, especially against my red uh, red shirt here. Um, by the way, you can actually uh, fix that uh, temporarily, and the fix for <laughs> the fix for the thorium oxide radioactive, and there are a lot of them. The people that were most famous for it are the one lenses that I love the most. Uh, they are the Asahi Pentax lenses. Especially my old uh, 6, 7 Pentax lenses. Uh, they're radioactive. Uh, most all of them were. This is a medium format film camera. It's an insanely heavy camera. Uh, not all of them were, but uh, Canon and uh, Pentax, even up until the late 70s, the mid to late 1970s, were doping their, uh, some of their, not all of them, uh, not all of the elements in the lenses, but they were doping their lenses with, uh, with the thorium oxide, and it's very radioactive. Um, now, as long as you're not doing, well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Got the lens up to your eyeball uh, for an extended period of time, or uh, you don't have it down your pants, pointed at your uh, your uh, your uh, your billiard balls. <laughs> you're probably gonna be okay. But if I still had uh, my Geiger counter, my buddy's Geiger counter. Um, this is no joke, this lens is radioactive. Uh, this is Nikon's dirty secret. If you got, I've got, I think, four or five radioactive lenses. I've got three of these, and, uh, what's my other one? i got 35mm 1.4. Uh, yeah, they're doped with the thorium oxide, and now uh, they use uh, lanthanum oxide, and it's for uh, chromatic aberration correction in Nikon's lenses. And, uh, yeah, you can actually find other information on the internet about this. This usually shocks people. And Nikon used to have an information article about this on Nikon's website, but Nikon decided to remove it. Do you think it could have been, perchance, due to uh, uh, lawsuit liability? Now, <laughs> right now, you can go on eBay and type in Nikkor 35mm f1.4 and... Uh, <clears throat> Look for the old ones, and if they got good pictures, you'll see that brownish slash yellowish tint to the lens. That is thorium oxide. That's the radioactive crap in these lenses that uh, makes a Geiger counter uh, squeal like a stuck pig. <laughs> I think this sort of crap is hilarious because people are like, Oh, shit! My lens is radioactive! Yeah, it is. <laughs> If you have one of these lenses that's radioactive. Um, there are about... I can't remember, there's like a dozen Nikkor lenses that uh, have the thorium uh, oxide doped glass in it. Um, 
But yeah, you can uh, buy them off of eBay right now. Most of them are in Japan. I mean, they're everywhere. But most of them come out of Japan. I mean, the lenses are shipped everywhere, including the United States. Yeah, but Nikon... This is Nikon's dirty secret. And Canon's too, by the way. Um, the Asahi Pentax lenses are the worst. I mean, those suckers will really make a Geiger counter squeal like a stuck pig. Um, I love giving out infer interesting information like this because you don't read this sort of crap in photography magazines. Probably because, well, I think there was like one article written about it 20 years ago or something. Um, but Nikon or Canon or Pentax don't like talking about this. But these lenses are still available. You go to swap meets, pawn stores, eBay. You can still buy radioactive lenses. And Nikon was still doing this up to the mid-1970s. Mid-1970s. That covers a lot of lenses, folks. Uh, yes, this is true. It is undeniable. It is irrefutable. And this is 100% true. Okay? I thought you would find that interesting. Um, the way you fix this, you can't actually fix the radiation. It's in the glass. But the way you actually clear up that brown slash yellowish tint is you stick it in bright sunlight for about a week uh, in your window. And uh, the ultraviolet uh, actually uh, causes the lenses to turn uh, back to clear again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But you give it a few more years and then they'll start to yellow and brown again. So if you ever seen one of those old AI Nikkors or an old Canon or old Pentax lens, you go, God, what's that brown, brownish yellowish tint? Um, that, kids, is thorium oxide. It's the radioactive crap that glass was doped with before they used lanthanum oxide to correct for chromatic aberration. Because glass is a semiconductive circuit, and all lenses are designed... Uh, for maximum light transmission, sharpness, resolution, chromatic aberration, coma, on and on and on and on. And this is something that you don't read about in photography magazines or over on Diaper and P Review, and you know what site I'm talking about, because they don't talk about this sort of stuff. Especially on Diaper and P Review, those people are morons. Anyway, thanks for watching, catch you later, bye.